Hi you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wesleyan if you are new here and I just wanted to intro this video by saying thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. It's a lot of fun on my channel. I'd love for you guys to stick around and I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Wesleyan. I am 24 years old. I'm married. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and yeah, this is just a what I spend in a week. I feel like this is a very realistic video. I tried to keep it real and raw and like what I actually spend like even just the random purchases I make throughout the week because those do tend to happen quite often. Um, I included some bills in here. Just anything that I felt would give you guys a good idea of what I spend in a week. I am super grateful that we're a dual income household. Um, my husband has a job, I have a job, and my husband does a lot of budgeting and everything for us. I am just a big like spender. I love to spend money. So um, he kind of tracks all of our finances for us, which I'm so grateful for. Um, obviously, like we are married and it is like a collaborative effort, but for the most part, he like kind of takes the reins on our finances. And yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of any other info to give you guys before we get into this video. But yeah, I think that's it. If you have any specific questions, definitely comment them down below. I'm always happy to answer. I'm an open book. Um, so feel free to ask them and yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Today is actually Tuesday. Yesterday I literally spent no money other than getting Chipotle for dinner, which was 15.07. Um, I literally just looked at my app. It was 15.07 and I'm going to put the prices like on the screen at the end. I'm going to like tell you guys the total and all of that. Also, if you're new here, I do live in Charlotte, North Carolina just for reference geographically of where I'm living and what prices look like for me. But yeah, today I'm heading to work and I went by and grabbed some coffees. I went by a coffee shop called Not Just Coffee. So, so good. Um, and I got an iced coffee for a girl um, that works with us that just got promoted. So I wanted to celebrate her. And then I got myself a little vanilla oat milk latte so good they make the best and i got myself a little um yogurt parfait also something that is amazing that they make i'm obsessed with their yogurt parfaits so i got that as well to have for breakfast and i have my little receipt here so uh, my total today was 22.92 so so that was my total for this i feel like it wouldn't have been as much obviously if i hadn't gotten someone else a coffee but yeah 22.92 for the coffees i'm gonna have to work now i have to go to the grocery store when we get done with work so we'll do that see how much we spend there we've been out of town for the past like two weeks so um we have to do like a huge grocery run <laughs> Hey guys just finished up at trader joe's spent right under a hundred so my total at the end was 97.73 which was pretty good considering i had to do like a pretty big restock of groceries for us um so yeah we loaded up and i'm gonna go home we're gonna cook dinner tonight i'm thinking we're gonna do like tacos maybe like a pasta night i don't know i got groceries for both so We'll see what we decide. Here's today's total for what I spent today. And then hopefully we can stay under that tomorrow, but we'll see. It is Wednesday today and I really thought I was gonna go the whole day without spending any money. I was gonna be really proud of myself. But then <laughs> I passed Target and I was like, mm, I kinda need some stuff from Target. So I popped in there, grabbed a few things, nothing crazy. First up, we have, like, truly, guys, this is the most, like, random things ever. This is a lemon, like, citrus squeezer situation. It is from the Hearth and Hand brand um, at Target. And I got this because we used to have one. And Zach makes this, like, lemon concoction healthy drink every single morning. I don't know. He says it's, like, really good for you. But he makes it every morning. And he broke our last, like, lemon squeezer and he's the type of person that he's just not gonna go out and like buy something like that so i was like i'm just gonna have to go buy it so i bought a new one of those and then i also this caught my eye i needed it anyway like i was out of body wash but 
this new line from Dove it caught my eye. It was like on one of the end caps. And I've seen a lot of really good things about this new line from Dove. So this is the moisture one. They have a bunch of different ones. They have like a like anti-aging one, like an acne prone one, like all different kinds. And I picked up the moisture one because my skin gets so dry, especially in the summer. So I figured it would be a good one to try out. I will let you guys know how I like it, but I've seen nothing but good things about it. So figured it'd be worth grabbing. And then lastly, I got this candle because I have seen so many good things about this like new candle line in Target. This is like the purpley glass um there's another one that's like a greener glass it's like the it's called like white something in some tall i don't know this smelled really good but this one smelled the best to me so i picked it up it is the jasmine and white amber one so if you're wanting to get a new candle i would recommend this one because it smells so good i don't know what i did with the receipt so we're gonna pull it up on my bank statement because i want to make sure i'm giving you guys the accurate numbers here 33.23 is what i spent at target and then why I have this pulled up, we actually had two bills come out today. One for our Wi-Fi, which was $72.94, and then our energy bill, which was $73.35. It's so crazy to me that we pay almost the same amount for Wi-Fi that we do like to like power our entire apartment, but whatever. Those two bills came out today. I'm including them in the like what I spend in a week, because I feel like we always have some kind of bill that we have to pay on a weekly basis or like every week, like something we have to pay. So I figured it would be the most accurate and this is what I spend in a week. So we're spending that money and it's going towards bills. So we're gonna include that in the price for today or the total for today. I'll leave it on the screen. And yeah, that is what we spent today. It's Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday. I plan to not spend any money tomorrow, but it's probably gonna happen. I think I have to get gas. Um, I don't really know, but we'll see. Hey you guys back in my car today is thursday and i swear to you guys i don't like intend on spending money like i really did not think i was gonna spend any money today and then as you saw i went to starbucks this morning my power went out at the apartment so i couldn't make my coffee this morning i was so upset so i ended up having to get starbucks and then after i got off work literally i'm sitting outside of sephora right now because i just ran in and did an exchange i was just gonna do a return and then the girl was like oh can i ask like why you're returning this and i was like oh i just didn't really love it basically i got the um i think you pronounce it say beauty illuminizer because i've been looking for something to like give my skin a glow before i like put on the rest of my makeup and um i got that just to try it and i didn't love it so i was like okay like if i don't love it i'm gonna return it and the lady was like oh let me show you this and she ended up talking me into getting this um which is glow recipe i've never tried any of glow recipes products but i've heard really great things so this is their like dew drops um they're like watermelon infused highlighting dew drops and she said you just do one to two pumps you can do it like before your moisturizer it says or she told me i could do it after if i wanted and she said it's a bit more of like a skincare situation but it will act more like an illuminizer before i put my makeup on so i'm excited to try it excited to let you guys know how i like it but since i did the exchange credit i believe i spent yeah 22.61 was my total at sephora so i did get that and you know, I just, it, it was necessary. I really, like, my skin is so dry, you guys. Even with all the skincare products that I treat it with, it's still so dry. And I don't know why my skin gets so dry in the summer, but it does. And I needed something to, um, you know, make it glow for the summertime. That is what I spent today. I'm going to head home now, get dinner, um, or have dinner with Zach. We're not, like, going out to eat, so don't worry. No more money will be spent today. And then tomorrow is Friday crazy that it's friday already but um i have the day off tomorrow so i'm sure more money will be spent tomorrow but um hopefully not hopefully we can like kind of chill out but i doubt it <laughs> just got out of a workout we i don't know why the templates i say this in every video but the templates at orange city lately have been so stinking hard um but got out of workout treated myself to a coffee um 
I've been trying to just get coffees at Starbucks like on Mondays in the weekends. So it's Friday, so we're treating ourselves today. Total for the coffee, it was $6.87. And yeah, we're gonna go home now. I'm going to make myself food at home. I was gonna go and get a smoothie bowl. Oh, I kinda still want to. I don't know, but I have food at home, so I'm like, ugh, I don't need to do that. Okay, maybe I will go get a smoothie bowl. All right, you guys saw, got a smoothie bowl. These smoothie bowls are huge. Like this is the smoothie bowl compared to my face. At this place called Good Life Cafe, they make it the best and it was only 13 bucks for that big of a smoothie bowl. I don't know, I feel like they're so worth it. They put like really good ingredients in them too. So I don't feel like as guilty about eating a smoothie bowl, you know? But I am gonna head home now. I think I'm gonna go to the pool for a little. I have a few calls to make, I have a meeting with the girl that I do wedding coordinating with, like a phone call with her. And then I have a phone call with a brand that I'm working with, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, so we're gonna hopefully get all that work done while we chill. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for what I spend in a week. Yes, I know this wasn't like a Sunday to Sunday situation, it was like a five day week, but to me that's the week, is like Monday through Friday. Um, so that's what this video was, but if you want to see like a Sunday to Sunday what I spend in a week, let me know. I did forget to include a clip in here of me getting gas and my total for gas was $65. Um, so that will be factored into what I've spent this week. So drum roll please, grand finale. This is how much money I spent in a week. I'm going to edit it in here because I don't know the exact total while I'm recording this. But yeah, this is what I spent in a week. Based on what I've edited and seen what I've spent so far, this is pretty average for me, for us. I feel like we didn't have any really like crazy bills or like outliers that would have affected this total. Um, so this is pretty normal for what I spend in a week. Um, I didn't include any of like Zach's extra spending, like what he buys himself. Like if he got a coffee or lunch that day or whatever, I didn't include that in the price I just included what I personally spend and then any bills and stuff because obviously my income does like go towards bills just like his does you know that is all I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this let me know I thought it'd be fun to just switch it up from the normal everyday average vlog uh, but there are more vlogs coming so stay tuned like I said if you haven't subscribed subscribe down below it means the world to me when you guys stick around I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.